You know, it is so sad that there's so many standards on how somebody's supposed to look, what somebody's supposed to be like, how somebody's supposed to dress, or what somebody's body size supposed to be, you know. And you got all these people around here killing themselves out just to fit in a crowd. And it's ridiculous. And I can't see how many people just around here doing these things to themselves just to fit in. Like, baby, you don't have to fit in. You were made to stand out. And a lot of these people ain't understanding that they wasn't made to fit in. And they just trying to fit in in the in crowd with all these other people doing what everybody else wants them to do. And not happy with themselves at all. And it's critical that you get with the program and understand that... In order for you to go on in life and have a more fulfilling life, you got to be happy with yourself. Don't And doing what everybody else is doing or want you to do or you think they want you to do it or you think you got to conform to the way society is or what society feel like is beautiful and then you kill yourself out. Ain't no way. Just like me, for my for instance, I always love short hair. I always, my hair I always do better when it's short. I feel free as a bird. I don't feel like I have to gel nothing, cake nothing, you know, sew nothing, pull nothing. I'm just free. And some people be like, oh, you cut your hair? Well, I can't believe you cut your hair. Well, believe it. You see it. Believe it. Yes, I cut my hair. I'm Hair don't make me. I just grow hair out to get different styles when I feel like I want to. But I be wanting to chop it right back off because I'm my freest and I'm in my beautiful, most beautifulness when I'm free like this. I feel the most beautiful when I don't have any hair at all. And this is just who I am. And people look at it like, oh, I can't believe you grow your hair out that, that much just to cut it off. Well, believe it. It is what it is. And but I, I said all this to say this. That's what a lot of y'all doing. Y'all worried about what other people think about y'all and how y'all feel. Me having hair didn't make me happy. Although... And the one reason why it didn't make me happy, I mean, you know, I get, get, keep my hair done so it's cute or whatever. It makes me feel better when my hair is done. However, I always had to worry about getting it done. I always had to worry about waking up style and getting it. With this, I wash and go. And, and that's it. I leave, put my leave-in conditioning and I just go. And that's the easiest way for me to get on with my life. And for other people, they look at it like, I can never cut my hair off like that. You could pull it off. Yep. Thank you. And I'm glad I can because I'm more free being like this. And I'm also thankful that my husband liked me just like this. And, um, but people will sit here and try to, you know, kind of criticize you a little bit. Just a little bit, not all the way, but just a little bit like them people that's, oh, girl, you cut your hair. I can't believe you went short. You did. And they want to make you feel like you you did something wrong. Hold up to what you want. Hold up to what you like. You ain't did nothing wrong. If you feel like shaving your head completely bald, that's what you feel like doing. And when a woman cut her hair, a woman is on something different. And I've been on something different for the last couple months because my growth is just, keep, I'm just keep growing, steady growing. And people, like I said always, where's this, what, what, what do you have to show? My mental, my mental health. And it's the biggest weapon of them all because it ain't no fun being out of whack and out of mind with a pocket full of money. I, and it don't even make sense. It's ignorant. So, you know, in order for you to even live a fulfilling life, you got to go in and do the work to become happy. It's a choice. You can't just wake up one day and say, I'm going to be happy for the rest of my life. You have to work towards those things because... You know, a lot of things are going to upset you. You're going to be back at square one. But when things upset you, don't feel like you got to go back to square one. But if that if it puts you in that state of mind, that means you're, you're growing because you don't want to feel like you did before. You and, and something, you know, nobody's perfect. So we have a days where we don't want to be bothered or talk to or say anything to. And we need on, we on edge. And, and, and if you say I found out of place, you get snapped off on you know everybody have those days however i try my best to stay away from people if i feel like i got to click out on them because that's, that's not where my energy level belong my energy level don't belong like i feel like i'm gonna knock on the, over the world that ain't where my energy level belong my energy level belong right where it need to be you know high i can't don't come over here trying to steal my energy energy vampires because they will stay over there because I don't want your energy. But I just want to bring that message, guys, just to say that um, uh, you don't have to change who you are to fit in nobody's group. 
Be who you are. Be exactly who you are. Do what you think you need to do. You do not have to change your whole life or change your the way of being. Change your body type. Do all these things if you don't want to. I, like I said, I feel my friends. Be free in what you do. Feel like you want to do it. Feel like you're happy when you're doing it. Don't do it because somebody else told you to do it. Don't do it because somebody, you think somebody else wants you to do it. Do it because you want to do it. Don't go get your butt big because your boyfriend you with said, oh, I want you need to go get a BBL. Don't do that if that ain't what you want to do. If that ain't what you call. If you comfortable with your little small petite, stay your small petite. If you come with your flat butt, stay. Keep your butt flat. You don't have to do what somebody else wants you to do just to fit in. If he, if a person tell you those things, he don't want you no way. He wants you to look like somebody that he wants you to look like. He don't like you for who you are. So understand that as well. So pe when people telling you to go do this and get your nose done, get your butt done, you know, you know, lose some weight, gain some weight, whatever the case may be. If you don't feel like you want to do those things, well, well whatever makes you happy and, and, and bless your life, you do that. If losing weight is something that you want to do, do that. If gaining weight is something you want to do, do that as well. But, you, you know. Make sure it's what you want to do. Don't be doing things that other people want you to do because you never be happy with that. And we need more happy people in this world. We I'm, I'm, we tired of living in this world where everybody's so angry and mad. Driving down the street, everybody's so mad. Throwing that finger up, honking a horn, doing all this crazy stuff because they mad that somebody got over in front of them. If you if you went in and fixed yourself and did the work, you wouldn't allow somebody else to have that much control of your life. But... I ain't going to get into that, but I just want to come and bring that little short message about uh, be who you are and don't let nobody else change you. Unless you want to change yourself for the better, don't worry about what other people say. You're not on that time. You're not, you're not them. You don't see yourself how they see yourself. None of those things. Do what's best for you. And I just want to bring that message, guys. It's kosher.